Shana Tova. It's wonderful to see all of you. Here I am again on Zoom. Hopefully next year we'll be able to be together in person because I miss seeing your bright shiny faces. But for now, let's celebrate Rosh Hashanah, the new year. And let's start with a song that celebrates our being together as friends, connected as a community. Manaim, Shevet Achim Gam Yahad. He named Mato Vumanaim, Shevet Achim Gam Yahad. How good it is to be together. Shevet Achim Gam Yahad. He named Mato Vumanaim. Shevet Achim Gam Yahad. How good it is <coughs> to be together. How So on this Rosh Hashanah, we have a special children's and family service, and you can find the booklet, I think, and the information that you got. You can open that link if you want to follow along. This is the new year. This is the birthday of the world. The world is old, very old, but always new and fresh. See its beauty, and again the world is born. See its goodness, and the world is newly made. Sing to the world, happy birthday world, happy birthday people, many happy returns. You plants and flowers, sun, moon, stars, and seas, sing to the world, sing to the one who made it. And we just sang Hine Matov together at the bottom of page one, if you're following along. <coughs> Excuse me. We join together in the Barahu prayer, the prayer in which we call to God call to each other, speaking to God from our hearts, not just as one person, but as a very special community, a chosen people. If you feel like standing up where you are, that's good. If you're just relaxed and want to stand up with your spirit and not with your body, that's okay too. Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 Baruchu et Adonai Hamevora Ba. The middle of page two. God is one, each of us is God's child. Each is brother or sister to every person. God's love goes to all, all are one, God is one. And the prayer that reminds us of God being one and connecting all of us as one is Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kevod Mahuto 
Le'olam Vaheh. All right, please be seated if you happen to be standing up. On page three, this day of days has many names. We call it Rosh Hashanah, beginning of the year. We call it Yom Hadin, day of judgment. We call it Yom Hazikaron, day of remembrance. Good days and bad, glad ones and sad, we remember them all. We remember the wrongs we did, the promises we kept. Now as the new year begins, we promise to remember what we learned in the old year, to remember to do what the Torah has taught us. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. What is hateful to you, do not do to anyone else. Do what is right, love kindness, walk humbly with your God. Many are the gifts of God. This year we shall remember them. We have been given Torah, our tree of life. This year we shall hear it and do it. We have been given life in the world, our bodies and minds. We shall remember God's gifts and care for them. Our bodies shall be clean, our minds open to learning. We shall be kind to every person, gentle with every creature. And now we continue with Seder Kriyata Torah, our service for reading a little bit of the Torah on the bottom of page four if you're following along. The earth is our gods and all that is in it, the world and all that live there. Who may go up to the mountain of our God? Who may stand in God's holy place? Those who do no wrong, whose hearts are pure, but who has done no wrong, O God, and whose heart is always pure? And yet we try and will again to make Torah our way of life. Let this be pleasing in your sight. And we do a special Shema for the Torah service. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adonainu Kadol Shemo. And we will be reading from the very beginning of the Torah, Sefer Bereshit, in the beginning when God first starts to create the world. And we say our bracha, our blessing before reading of the Torah. Baruch Hu et Adonai Hamvorach, Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Va'ed, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Bachar Banu Mikol HaAmim Venatan Lanu et Torato, Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah. And I'm just going to share my screen here to show you the Torah portion. Bereshit bara Elohim et hashamayim ve'et ha'aretz. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Va'aretz ha'tatohu va'vohu. And the earth was all mixed up and muddled up. Ve'choshech al penei tahom. And darkness was over the face of the, earth, of the deep. Ve'ruach Elohim merechefet al penei ha'mayim. And the Spirit of God kind of hovered over the waters. We're not sure exactly what was going on, but it's an interesting description. Vayomer Elohim yehi or, vayehi or, and God said, let there be light. And what happened? There was light. Vya Elohim et or, God saw that the light, kitov, was good. Vyavde Elohim ben or ben achoshech, and God separated the light from the dark. Vyakra Elohim la or yom, v'lachoshech kara laila, and God called the day, the, excuse me, the light day, and the dark night, Vayer Vayvoker Yom Echad. And there was evening and there was morning the first day. So in addition to kind of starting everything with creation, God also, very importantly, divided things, water and land, light and dark, and named them water and land, night and day. All right, our blessing after reading of the Torah. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan lanu Torah emet, v'chaye olam nata betochinu. Baruch ata Adonai noten ha Torah. Next, we have our seder tekiyat shofar, our service for the sounding of the shofar. The shofar is like a spiritual alarm clock that wakes us up and tells us, "Hey, it's Rosh Hashanah, time to do something different." Time to do something important. Time to think about our lives and how we can be better. On page seven, 
Now we hear the call of the shofar. The shofar is an alarm clock of the spirit. It rings, tikiyah, wake up to your best self. It rings, truah, wake up to the needs of others. It rings, shvarim, wake up to what God wants from you. As we hear the shofar, let the first notes remind us that the Torah's paths are peace. As, as it is written, nation shall not lift up sword against nation, and they shall study war no more. May each of us live peaceful lives. The God of peace, our ruler, ask this of us. And there's a special blessing before saying the, uh, sounding the shofar as well. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'alam asher kichanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu b'shmo kol shofar. Praised are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe who makes us holy with commandments and commands us to hear the shofar. And of course, we do a shahiyanu prayer, a prayer to celebrate that we've reached this day. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam, shahiyanu v'kiyamanu v'higiyanu lahazman hazeh. Blessed be what an our God, ruler of the universe, who has kept us alive and sustained us and enabled us to reach this special day. And here comes the shofar. Pretty cool. Now it's time for a story. There once was a king, and this king had all sorts of wonderful riches, a big palace, any food he wanted, all the games he could play, as much gold as anybody could have. But his favorite thing in the whole world was a big diamond. This was so big you could hold it in your hand. It was like an orange. And he loved this diamond so much that in his castle, at the top of the castle, he built a very special room just for the diamond. And in the middle of the room, there was a nice podium with a glass case over it. And straight up above was a skylight so that every day at noon, when the sun was the highest in the sky, the king would come into his special diamond room, take off the glass case, hold the diamond up to the, the ceiling, and the light would shine in. And you know what he saw? I bet some of you know. All the colors of the rainbow. When lights go through diamonds, it shows us all the colors of the rainbow. It's called a prism. So one day the king was doing what he normally does. He was going into his throne, his uh, diamond room, picking up a diamond, holding it up to the, to the skylight to see all the colors of the rainbow. But that day he was a little sweaty. It was kind of hot, and the diamond slipped out of his hand, and <laughs> on the hard floor, <gasps> the king was beside himself. My diamond, my jewel, my treasure. He ran over to it, picked it up, and took a look at it. It looked okay, but suddenly he saw something that really made him sad, a small crack on the diamond. It's ruined, the king said. My diamond, my jewel, my treasure, my life, it's ruined. And the king, being the king, had a lot of power, and he could speak to a lot of people. And he sent out a message far and wide all over the kingdom if anybody could fix his beautiful diamond, he would give him his weight in gold coins. 
And so the king put out that message and people came far and wide, magicians and jewelers and all sorts of people. And each one would come in, the king would lock them in the diamond room to keep them secure, to keep them safe so no one could steal his diamond. And all the time someone would come out, whoever was trying to fix it, and will have failed. The king finally was about to give up and then he was approached, of course, by a rabbi. And the rabbi said, your highness, if you give me a few days, I think I can fix your diamond. The king couldn't believe this. Nobody else could. And a rabbi? What does a rabbi know about jewels? But the king was desperate. So he had the rabbi go into the diamond room and he locked the door behind him. And one day passed into the night, into the next morning. And another day passed into that night and into the next morning. And another day passed until right before evening, the king heard the door unlock and the rabbi came out and the rabbi was smiling with the diamond in his hand and the king said did you did you fix it i didn't hear anything i don't see any any anything that you did and the rabbi said your highness not only have i fixed your jewel but i've made it even more beautiful and all i needed was, was this tiny little chisel the king couldn't believe it. How could that have worked? And the king took the diamond from the rabbi and looked at it. And he saw what the rabbi did. The rabbi had taken the crack on the diamond, which before seemed like it ruined the diamond. And he had sketched a beautiful rose all around the crack. And the crack was kind of the stem of the rose. And so indeed, the diamond now with the rabbi's rose, including the crack, was more beautiful than it had been before. And the king indeed gave the rabbi his weight in gold pieces. And we learn from that story that even things that we do in our lives that are not so nice, that maybe are a little wrong, that if we learn from those things and try to be better, our lives can be even more beautiful and more holy than what we were before. On page 10, our last page, we have gathered together on this birthday of the world to celebrate another special day, the birthday of something new in us, and we receive gifts on this birthday. We have been given a new way to look at our lives and a new way to look at the world. We have been given a chance to start again and a chance to learn from the past. We have been given a new voice with which to talk to God and a new way for God to hear us. On this day, we imagine that God is recording our deeds in a big book of life. As the new year begins, our people everywhere greet one another with these words, Lishana tova tika tevu v'techa temu. May you be written down and sealed for a good year in that book of life. May this be true for all of us as we say to one another these old and lovely words, Lishana tova tika tevu the Techa Temu, and there's a song that goes with this. Lishana Tova Tika Tevu, Lishana Tova Tika Tevu, Tika Tevu, the Techa Temu. Lishana Tova Tika Tevu, Lishana Tova Tika Tevu, Tika Tevu, Vitecha Temu. I wish all of you Lishana Tova Tika Tevu, Vitecha Temu. May you have a good year, a year sealed in the book of life. Shana Tova, everybody.